Pinyin is the Chinese phonetic alphabet. It is exclusive in People's Republic China. In 1958, our government came up with the Chinese Pinyin project to replace the traditional method of phonetic notations like this, which is still being used in Taiwan. Pin means spell, yin means sound. So Pinyin is a way to spell the pronunciation of a Chinese character. In Chinese Pinyin, we share the same letters with IPA, the International Phonetic Alphabet, but they don't share the same pronunciations. Before we start, I want to give you a task. This is a Pinyin of a Chinese character. What is the tone of this Pinyin, and how to separate this Pinyin into initial consonants and vowels? Leave your answers below after you watch the video. Now let me help you read Pinyin letters. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, U, X. E, Z. As you just heard, even though they look the same as English alphabet, but they sound so different. Why does that happen? If you listen really carefully, you will notice that every letter in Pin alphabet has only one syllable. Let's do the comparison: X, C, F, F, S, S. So this is the real difference. Now we know the letters. How can we use them in Pinyin? In Chinese Pinyin, we have 声母 initial consonants, and 韵母 vowels. You only keep in mind that Pinyin is a combination of initial consonants and vowels, and some Pinyin only have vowels, but initial consonants cannot be Pinyin without vowels. Let's first take a look at 声母 the initial consonants. Let's read together. 波波 Mo, fo, de, te, ne, le, ge, ke, he, ji, qi, xi, zhi, chi, shi, ri, zi, ci, si. Most of them look the same as consonants in English, but we exclusively have zhi. Ch, sh, and corresponding to the sound of every initial consonants and vowels, we have some Chinese characters sound the same as you can see on these forms. So when you remember the pronunciations of these letters, you are actually remembering some Chinese characters at the same time. Don't waste time remembering the traditional method of phonetic notations. They are far less effective than Pinyin. And please pull aside the meanings of these characters. It is okay that you don't recognize them temporarily. For another thing, you may notice that there is no v, w, and y in initial consonants. Well, according to Pinyin rules, these three letters will only be used in some special situations. We'll talk about it later. Now let's look at 韵母 the vowels. Follow me and read. 一五五 a. 呀，哇，哦，我，呃，耶，约，哎，歪，哎，微，嗷，幺，哦，呦，安，烟，弯。元，恩，音，温，云，昂，央，汪，恩，英，翁，翁，雍。Right, there are a lot of vowels in Pinyin. Don't bother why vowels in Chinese Pinyin look like that. This is the way they are. When there is only one letter, we call them single vowels, and when there are two vowels, we call them plural vowels. R is a special vowel. 
The first line is anterior nasal valves or front nasal valves, and the second line is velar nasal valves or back nasal valves. The only difference is the G at the end of the valves for sin and sing. Sing has a strong nasal sound because of the G. So these are all the Chinese pinyin alphabet, including initial consonants and vowels. Now the key problem is how to pronounce or spell a pinyin. For example, the character Dan means single. Its pinyin is Dan. It's in first tone. Let's separate this pinyin. De, an. So de is an initial consonant. An is a vowel. When we spell this pinyin, we say de an dan. Every time we come across a new Chinese character, we spell its pronunciation in this way. You can practice it later on your own. I mentioned before that v, w, and y are used in some special situations. They are used to replace some vowel letters when there is no initial consonants. At the beginning of a pinyin, for example, the character yo means good. Its pinyin should be e o yo, but we will replace e with y. So y actually don't pronounce as y, but e in pinyin. What if there is only one single vowel, like e? For example, the character e means close. Its pinyin is e. As I mentioned before. Initial consonants cannot be pinyin without vowels. So for e, we just put y in front of e, so the pinyin of e becomes e. W is used to replace u, so it actually sounds the same as u. For example, the character wa means frog. Its pinyin should be u a wa. There's a very special vowel which looks similar with u. We put two dots on u. So it pronounces as u. A moment ago, we learned a vowel u, right? It can correspond to the Chinese character u. So u means about or limit. But according to Chinese pinyin rule, we need to put e in front of u. So the pinyin of u is. We won't write the two dots when we actually use it. Its pinyin should be. Also, because there's no u on keyboards, so we use v to replace u. If you want to type the character u, you type y v e. What's interesting is that due to the locations of y and u is next to each other, so most of the time when we try to type u, we just hit u, and the results are the same. In the future, I will talk about how we type Chinese characters on the keyboard. It is actually the same way as we spell pinyin. Some of you may ask, where should I put the tones? Well, I can give you a formula. The right order you can follow is a, wo, e, i, u, u. When you see a, you always put the tone on a. If there's no a, put tones on o or e. O and e will never be together in one pinyin, so take it easy. When you try to put tones on e, get rid of the dot like this. If e and u are together like this. Just put tones on the last one from the right like this. So now I think you have already know how to pronounce a Chinese pinyin. Let's do it again step by step. So this is a pinyin. I mentioned in the last video that the first step is to recognize its tone. Look at the direction of the line and do the comparison with four tones. Yes, it is tone four. So what is the name of tone four? It is ru, right? So this is how tone four sounds like. You sink your voice down and say "ru." Now let's separate this pinyin into different initial consonant and vowels. K is an initial consonant, so we put "u" and "i" together, and they become a plural vowel "y." So this pinyin can be separated as "k y." If you don't remember, just check it up on the pinyin forms above. So this pinyin can be separated as. K Y and it's in tone four. Now let's spell it. K Y Kui. Okay, you've done it. The corresponding characters can be Kui, Kui, Kui. It depends on context. I can't tell you how to read the whole 3,500 common used Chinese characters one by one because that's your work. 
When you came across a Chinese character online which you don't know, you should copy it and check it up online like this. Pinyin, hao, and then the pinyin will jump out of the search result. Again, the first step is to recognize the tone, and then separate its pinyin and then spell it with your mouth. So I have told you everything about how to pronounce Chinese characters. You got practice on your own. Hope my content has helped you learn more about Chinese culture. I am not a Chinese teacher. I am just sharing what I know because I do think I know a little bit more about China than people outside of China. I've been planning a lot of interesting content for this channel, which you can enjoy. See you in another video.